Hey guys, so today's video is going to be our Boxy Charm unboxing. One of my absolute favorite things to do. I love Boxy Charm so much. I can't speak on the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, which is like the equivalent of Boxy Charm, the bigger Ipsy, where you get five to six full size products where you can upgrade. Because this will be my first month getting it and it's late. It'll be here in like three days. I really wanted to do them together and compare them. But I can't. So we're just going to do this. And I love BoxyCharm very much. Like I said, if you don't know what it is, it is a... It used to be $21. But now there's e-commerce taxes and stuff. So it is a $22.43 a month subscription which is like super worth it because you get five to six full-size products that are always over like $150. Not $150, sometimes $150, but always over $100. So, very much so worth it. And I have already looked through the box because I usually like to look through it and then do what I need that's not in the box. So... We're going to try everything on our face, and the reason I don't have anything on my face yet is because I'm just going to unbox it, and then I'll cut out and go do whatever I need, and then come back, and we'll try the rest. So, you open it up, and you have your little card that's on top. The theme for this month is Make Waves, Make Waves with Boxy. And on the back it has all of your products and their prices. And I have been informed on how to find out what variation you're getting. Since there's like a million variations. Which I don't think is very fair. I think there should be maybe two variations. And then based on your profile, the couple things that are different. Based on your profile, you'll get one of those different things. Like... This month, how there was the blush palette and the Milk Luminous Blur Stick. If your profile says you're not that into blush, then you should get the Milk Blur Stick and then everything else that there was. You know what I'm saying? How do you feel about that? Let me know in the comments. And the way to find out what variation you're getting is... Hold on. Okay, so this is the one from March the peace love and boxy where we got the pure festival palette and stuff down in the corner is a little heart and a number so in march i got variation number six so for this month may i got variation number two so, let's see what we got. Right on top, you can't miss it, the Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser. This is absolutely gorgeous packaging. It is blended with oat amino acids. Condition Deep Cleanse Face Makeup Removal. Green Tea Leaf Teoxy. Cool. And it is completely fragrance free, which I am ecstatic about. The ultimate daily conditioning cleanser to gently but effectively cleanse and remove face makeup and daily impurities. Oat amino acids condition the skin while gentle bubbles deeply, deeply, deeply cleanse and dissolve makeup. Blended with apple extract, vitamin E, and teoxy green tea leaf. This gentle foaming cleanser inspired by the rainbow aurora of bubbles is mild, soap free, and SLS and LES free. Apply to wet face and gently massage, avoid eye area. Oh, so you open the little tab and then on the other two tabs it says... Hello, sexy. Why, thank you, Glam Glow. Oh, the bottle looks like it. That's so pretty. You get five ounces, 150 milliliters. 
It is fragrance free. Thank God. That Glam Glow Mega Illuminate Moisturizer thing. I cannot stand the smell of that. I know a lot of people love it. I absolutely hate it. It's iridescency. It's a pearly. That feels like a nice cleanser. I love cleansers so much. My favorite is the First Aid Beauty one. That's like the only one that doesn't ruin my skin. This is from trying a new face cleanser. I don't know why I'm swatching a face cleanser. I don't know. There's no rules. You can swatch what you want to swatch. And next up, we have the Ciate London Eye Luster Creme Shadow. And I got mine in Cupid. I have not, I peeked in the box to see what there was, but I did not open and look at any of the colors. I really hope the camera is picking that up. It is a like very light lilac lavendery purple with a gold shift. Nice doe foot. Let's see. Oh my god. I am in love. Do you see that gold shift? Purple? Gold. Purple? Gold. Oh my god. I cannot wait to put that on my eyes. Oh my god. And it is so shimmery. Oh. So pretty. I'm going to leave that right there and see how it dries down. Next up is, okay, this is what I have already used because I refuse to do my eyebrows on camera. Like I have said in other videos, there's Q-tips, there's spit involved. My eyebrows are a whole thing. I got the Mellow Brow Definer in chocolate. 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 Mellow brow definer and I'm so glad I did not get the bodyography eyeliners even though I've seen unboxings where people did get the blue bodyography eyeliners and they seemed good but in the peace love and boxy one in the March boxy I got the Bali bronze eyeliner and it's not existent it does not show up it made me so mad this is the Mellow Brow Definer, and it is a double-sided. You get a nice little soft spoolie on one side. I know my brows are looking a little in charge today, and it's because this is one of those triangle tip ones that I have never used before. And I really like it. I like it. I need to work with it some more to learn. But that little tip is good for like flicking up some brow hairs. Well, just made them even more bold. I like it. I really like it. I'm glad I got this because I've been wanting to try new brow stuff. Okay, and then you lift up the thingy. And next up, we got... I got one of the Dose of Color liquid lipsticks, matte lipsticks. Liquid matte lipsticks. I'm a little upset I didn't get a nude. I really wanted Lazy Daisy. It looked really pretty. I got mine in strawberry pop which is a very very vibrant pink strawberry color it's actually really gorgeous very very gorgeous very summery 
I'm just not used to wearing these kinds of colors. I really like the dofa on this. I'm going to leave that there too to see how it dries down. Oh, this smells like Funfetti Cupcakes. And I love this. These are just so pretty to like display. Beautiful. And I've never tried Dose of Color lipsticks before. Aww. These packages are just so sweet. Whenever I'm having a really bad day, I'm just going to open all these boxes and see all the nice sayings that they're saying in them. And then last up, that's four. Last up. Oh, I'm so excited. That's all. I am so excited. We got the Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio, which Kathleen Lights have been raving about. And so I've been wanting it so bad. She raved about it in like March and April. And I was like, I want it, I want it so bad. And then spoilers came out. We were getting it in BoxyCharm. And I was flipping out. I was like, if I get that milk stick instead of this, I'm going to be so upset. But I got it. And I got mine in Fair to Light. Get three sheeny blushes, Castaway, Paraiso, and Scorcher. Kathleen says Paraiso is her favorite, and it looks like it's going to be my favorite, too. I really like Scorcher. Scorcher is like a mix of the two. Like, Castaway is orange, Paraiso is pink, Scorcher is like a peach. It's like a mix of the pink and the orange together. Here they are swatched. Let's see. Very, very pigmented and very beautiful. And they have like the most beautiful sheen to them. Oh, let's see if this is dried down yet. Can you even see that eye luster? Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, that dried down. And it's not moving. There's a little bit of glitter when I rub it hard, but other than that, it's not like falling everywhere and stuff. Those are beautiful. I can't wait to put these on my face. Okay, so that is everything that came in my boxy charm. I got five awesome full size products, and let's read some prices real quick. So the first thing on here is the Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Cleanser, and it is $28. The Alamar Cosmetics Blush Trio is $22. The Ciate London Eye Luster is $22. Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick, $18. And the Mellow Brow Definer is $18. So my box was like a hundred and between a hundred and eleven and a hundred and fifteen dollars. Can't quite say. I'll leave it down in the description after I calculate it on a real calculator and not in my brain. Yeah, but I love this box. I'm going to go put on everything I need that I don't have and then we will try out the blush, the eye cream, and the liquid lipstick because I already have the brows on my face. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back and my base is done and I had some technical difficulties. I forgot there was blush and I put on blush. So then I tried to erase my mistake and so now it's clean. I'm just looking a little cakey and messed up, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're just playing. So it's okay. So now we're going to go in with the blush. The Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio. And I really want to use them all. I think I'm going to put Periso on and maybe put a little bit of Scorcher in the front. 
they're very smooth and buttery very creamy I'm just going to coat my little blush brush and Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. And these are also eye safe as well. So you can use them as eyeshadows. That was Perry. So now I'm going to take Scorcher, which has a little bit more sheen. Like it's more sheeny. Perry, so has a sheen, but a matte sheen. I'm going to take Scorcher. I'm just going to put it on top. Oh, yes. Okay, Scorcher is where it's at. That is beautiful. I have like super super dry skin so I love sheeny blushes I'm gonna put a little bit of castaway on too I'm just gonna mix all three oh that is beautiful Oh, I love it. Little blush heavy, but I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, A plus. Kathleen, you were completely right. A plus. So now for the eyes, we have the Ciate London Eye Luster. My eyes are primed. I just want to put down a little bit of a base. So I'm going to go in with the Ibby Beauty Poolside Palette, which looks like this. And I'm going to take the shade Margs, which is like this matte, brownie, mauve nude. And a very shimmery purple color. I'm going to take it on a Shona Cash Up brush and just I want to take a little bit of Pariso And sweep it over all of that. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, new favorite transition shade. Beautiful. And it blends into the blush. I love that. Okay, now we are going to take the Ciate Eye Luster. I'm just going to go for it.
what I like. I'm going to take some of Periso and dab it over. That is so pretty. I'm also going to take Periso and run it on my lower lash line. This color as an eyeshadow is so pretty. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this so much. I put a purple eyeliner in the waterline before I came back. Oh. I am obsessed with this set. Obsessed. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of mascara. This is the ColourPop BFF Mascara. It has a thicker formula, which is what I need because it's, it's kind of like a waterproof mascara. It holds my lashes up and it's amazing. I love this mascara so much. And for a lower lash, I use the CoverGirl Floor. Yeah. Zoom. Oh, a little bit. Okay. Now for lips. We have the Dose of Colors in Strawberry Pop. And I grabbed these three lip liners to see which one. This is the Tartiest Lip Liner in Amaze Totes. These are both Tartiest Tart Lip Liners. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Heart On. So let's see, I'm going to swatch it beside, okay, hard on is a little too pink because this dries down a little more red. That's pretty pink. Okay, I think I'm going to use the lightest one out of them actually. So this is the tardiest one in a maze. Stop it! Now for the lippy. This is a very summery color. And that is the finished look. That is the finished look using everything that came in the boxy charm. I will update on the Glam Glow because I'm about to use it right after this. In Kathleen's video, she recorded herself using it right after. 
but my kids are at the door going crazy, so I'm not gonna do that. But I'm happy with everything, especially the blush and the eye look, the lip. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to, but it's summer, so it's festive, and I love everything. This is one of the best boxes. I even love the brow pencil. This is one of the best boxes so far. Ew. I should have probably exfoliated my lips before putting on a matte lipstick, but this formula is very comfortable does transfer a little bit, but I like it. So, let me know down in the comments. What variation did you get? Look down in the corner at the little number. So, that'll tell you what variation. Did you get the same stuff? Did you get something different? Did you get the Milk Blur Stick? I want to know. And I want to know if you like it. And if you like what came in my box, let me know. I like to talk to people. Also, there is still a giveaway going on. It ends in two days on Thursday, the 16th. So if you would like to enter, just leave your comment down below with a way for me to contact you, your Instagram handle, your Twitter handle, anything. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you want to. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.